The Weekly, hosted by the editors of Pro Builder and Pro Remodeler, starts now. I'm here with Michael Anschel, president of Autogawa Anschel Design, Design Build, and the recent author of an opinion piece on ProRemodeler.com called uh, Free is a Four-Letter Word. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So if you guys haven't seen or read the article, it is... I don't want to lead off by saying it's controversial. It is a well thought out, well written piece about design deception, sort of. Well, actually, it's more deception of free services and the offer of fees credited back. So, the idea that there are certain deceptive practices, not that necessarily all are deceptive, but they have a tendency towards deceptive practices. And I just kind of wanted to talk with you, Michael, a little bit about the article. Um, sort of plays devil's advocate a little bit, ask you to uh, elaborate um, where, where you can. Let's do it. So in, in the early uh, uh, paragraphs of the article, you write, free is the, t is the tactic, and I particularly like this line because it's poetic and fun. You say, free is the tactic of the bottom feeder who has chased discounts all the way to the bottom. Can you elaborate exactly what you mean by that? Yeah, I think, uh, uh, so you're trying to get more business and so you say 10% off or you say 20% off and pretty soon you find yourself at free, right? You know, anything to get that person in the door, to lock them down, to get a minute with of their time. And you, you basically, um, you, you've, made it, you've made yourself so valueless, right? You're just another one of those, you know, kind of scum sucking bottom feeder, used car salesman remodeler people who will do anything and say anything to get your business. So you, you describe, um you know, free services and fees credited back um, is basically deceptive. Do you think there are times ever where those sort of deals can be worked into your business? Because some of the comments we got on the website was, okay, yeah, there are deceptive ways to do these, but there's also more honest ways to do these. Are you a blanket, these are deceptive practices fundamentally, or do you think there's a way that you can engineer them to be open and honest? Yeah. That, I mean, it's, it's a really, it's a really fair question. I think I've wrestled with this in other areas like you know when we made the big push towards transparency a lot of stuff that came up for us as we started down that path there was some realization about how the clients really view us how where where we were afraid of being open was because we didn't necessarily have it all together as yeah. well as we thought we did and so i think that the same thing as i started to go on this path there's a lot of gray ground and you can build arguments and rationalize your way to pretty I mean you can rationalize your way to, to the current president right you know it's uh, at the end of the day though if you were to take a step back and and be not a non-biased objective observer and someone said this or this and you would look at it and be like well that's obviously not okay and I think that that's kind of where I landed with this was when we say it's free but we have it built into our overhead or we say it's a loss leader we're still billing for it. We, we're still, it's somewhere within the estimate of the project is in our overhead line, compensating for this thing that we're supposedly giving away. You're, you can't actually give it away, you'd go out of business, right? Yeah. And I think that credit fees credited back, to me in some ways is even worse than you know the free bit. And I'm not talking about, the, like people say free estimates and you know, it's a spitball estimate Then, then you later charge to go back and make better. Yeah. I really was focused in on the idea that they're doing free design, that we take an entire industry's worth of like designers and architects and what design means. And we say it has no real value, so little that we'll just do it. Or uh, with fees credited back, what's, what really prompted this, James, was there was a remodeler on Facebook who was bragging about how much they how, how they do this and how they sell their client and they get them off the market and they sell them a ten thousand dollar design package that they then credit back to the project but that their cost is sixteen hundred dollars on it and to me that seems that's just like it was so radically deceptive what they were doing um and this was on their public Facebook. So, I mean, this was something even homeowners could go in and see. And this is something you mentioned in the article too. It was a- It was in a group. So I don't think homeowners could necessarily see it, but- But, but 
Oh, okay. So it was like an exchange between you guys individually. Okay. I won't, I won't press you on like who it is or anything like that, but in seeing that, so I, in the past, I've looked into advertising and sort of what the regulations are there for companies in terms of kind of claims they can make. Um, for instance, like claiming you're number one in something specific. If it's like attributed to an actual organization, you can get in trouble if you're lying about it. But for this kind of, you know, sneaking the prices into your overhead, as far as you know, is that an illegal practice or is that just something that's a lie? I, just, I, I don't think it's illegal. And I think that there's going to be some folks who will say, yeah, well, his cost is $1,600 and he marked it up, you know, 600%. And so it's $10,000. And, and to be fair, I think if you have an hourly rate, right, you say we're $170 an hour for design services. I'm not saying my cost is 170. I'm saying I'm, that's what I will sell that at, at that rate. So I don't think that there's anything illegal about saying um, I'm crediting you the $10,000 value that I sold you as a value. Where I think that it gets sketchy is in saying to the client, I'm crediting back $10,000 to the project when you're not actually crediting $10,000 back to the project, right? If yeah. in your estimate, your actual you know, you got done with your estimate for this project and it was $88,000 and you added, um, you know, $20,000 of it and then said to the client, hey, I'm going to give you that $10,000 back. You're not, you're not giving them the $10,000 back. You, you, you're putting it into the thing. You're just not telling them where it is. And I think somebody who's doing fees credit back, credited back would be unable to offer a transparent estimate because somewhere in the estimate, there'd be a line that, reveals that oh, in fact we are still actually billing you for all the design work that we do. I think that uh, is a great segue into a line that you say which is well it's sort of, it's more of a question that you sort of prompt at the reader which is where the moral comp where is the moral compass of this industry pointed? Um, and that's a good question. It's also incredibly hard to answer. Um, morality is very tough to define. So as someone who's obviously given this some thought where exactly do you think the moral compass and remodeling should be pointed? And if you can, can you articulate that into like an actual response? I think we all strive to be good people. We strive to do the right thing. We strive to take care of each other. And I think that when there are bad actors and um, people who abuse the system, that, that that's something that we can all agree that's not healthy for the industry, the economy, society, et cetera, et cetera, right? I think as an industry, sometimes we could become complicit in business practices because they've become accepted. 